What's the story? I'm Finch and welcome to Ball's Bullet Points, our succinct look at some of sport's biggest occasions. With the European Championships just around the corner, we thought we'd do you a favour and give you a group by group breakdown of all 24 teams involved in the finals. Today, we're looking at Group B, which involves Belgium, Denmark, Finland and Russia. Are you ready to impress your mates with some knowledge that you glean from this video? Well then, let's get into it then. Ah, Belgium. A country that served light beer during school lunches all the way up until the 1970s. The Red Devils cruised through their qualifying. They won 10 games from 10 to win Group Boy with ease. Jeremy Ducky was another player to come off Anderlecht's conveyor belt of talent this century. The winger has already played over 70 games of senior football at the age of just 19 and can provide a spark off the bench should the Belgians need it. Listen, it's hard to root for one of the favourites, but in Kevin De Bruyne, at least Belgium have a likeable superstar. Also, two other strikers play for Crystal Palace, which is a funny anomaly in our opinion. We hate to bring up old wounds, but ah, who are we kidding? We'd be nothing without holding a grudge. Ireland were beaten in a World Cup playoff by Belgium in 1997, and we still haven't gotten over it, bleeding Luke Nillis. Unsurprisingly, Belgium are one of the favourites to win this tournament, with Labrooks giving you odds of 11-2 on an outright Belgium win, and in this group, Belgium are destined for a first place finish. A virtual guarantee. You know in Denmark, learning how to swim is actually a mandatory lesson in skills. We don't particularly want to recall Denmark's qualification for the Euros, but they finished ahead of Ireland in Group D. Denmark are bringing a fairly experienced side to the Euros, but Sampdoria's Mikkel Damsgaard is a wild card of a forward, and he's had an impressive start to his international career thus far, so keep an eye out for him. Hummel and Denmark are one of the greatest marriages in football key history. Although Denmark had a dalliance with Adidas in the 2000s, they returned home and, as a result, their form has improved immeasurably. As Ireland fans, we don't need to remind nor mention why we shouldn't be supporting Denmark. Not only do we play them a million times, but that 5-1 defeat at the Aviva in the World Cup playoff will sting for generations. Labrooks have Denmark at a short 25-1 to to win the tournament, which we wouldn't touch at all, let's be fair, but we do fancy the Danes to get out of this group behind Belgium, so we're going to go with they're going to finish second here. Would you mind liking the video, subscribing, and maybe even turning on the bell notification? Did you know there's over 3 million saunas in Finland? That's some steamy stuff. Finland qualified for the first ever European Championships by finishing runners up behind Italy in Group J. Finland are another side that has a very experienced squad. Brentford's Marcus Force is arguably the most exciting prospect in Finland's ranks. The attacker was an integral part of the B's promotion to the Premier League this season. Finland is the home of the text message, the world's best rally drivers and one of the best songs of all time. If the Finns don't adopt the rude sandstorm as a de facto national anthem this summer, we'll be very disappointed. The Finns caused Ireland all sorts of problems in our Nations League matches, beating us 1-0 both home and away. Listen, we're a petty bunch, but we're hardly going to say that you shouldn't support Finland because of the Nokia 3210. For their first major tournament, Labrooks are giving Finland odds of 250 to 1, and we're acutely aware of how good Finland are, so we think that they might finish third in this group and sneak into the knockouts. Did you know in Russia that some lads actually go out and play golf for helicopters? Russia were impressive in qualification, winning 8 out of 10 matches to finish behind Italy in Group I. That's not bad going at all. Another of the tournament's older squads, CSK Moscow's new sign and Maxim Mukhin could star in the Russian engine room as a defensive shield. The 19 year old was very impressive last season for Lokomotiv Moscow. At their home World Cup in 2018, Russia were a surprise package, reaching the quarter-finals and playing some excellent football in the process. More the same from them and we'll be delighted. Jesus, we might even support them. Did you know that stray cats in Russia have jobs? That's crazy. And we're not saying that that's not a reason to support Russia at the Euros, but cats should be allowed to just lounge about and showcase their disdain for humans without needing an occupation. To win the tournament outright, Russia are 100-1 to with Labrooks, and in our eyes, that's far too short. Ultimately, we have Russia finishing bottom of the group, but like 2018, they are capable of a shock. And that's it. Thanks for watching the video. Here, you can subscribe to the channel and watch another bit of gorgeous content with those gorgeous eyes of yours.